Hello, my name is Denis Fedorov and in this video I am going to tell you about Russian syllables. I will explain and show how to divide words into syllables in Russian, uh, tell the phonetic rules for doing that and also share a PDF with theory and exercise. First of all, the good news is that in real life we naturally can divide words into syllables. And another good news is that English and Russian have the same patterns uh, for this uh, stuff. So you can just uh, take your natural skills and senses in dividing words into uh, syllables or combining uh, sounds into syllables, it is the same, and apply them for a Russian language. If you ask an ordinary Russian native speaker to divide words into syllables, um, a native speaker um, will make mistakes. And it's normal, because from the course of phonetics it is obvious that hyphenation or dividing words into syllables is a subjective, individual thing. It means that nothing bad happens if you divide words into syllables wrong, because uh, the fluency of speech hides uh, that mistakes. And if you do not watch this video, well, nothing bad will happen. However, I advise uh, to watch this video to make this natural skill more conscious. And if you, <clears throat> and if you are learning Russian in philologist or specialist purposes, well, download also a PDF with the exercise. The link is in the description. Okay, syllables. Syllable is a unit of organization for um, uh, a sequence of speech uh, sounds. For example, the word water is composed of two syllables, wo and ter. Uh, so syllables are building blocks for sound and are sounds of or, or combinations of sounds pronounced with one exhale or blast. Uh, the skill of dividing words into syllables is based on three basic rules, uh, plus a couple of uh, specifications uh, to these rules. Ok, here are the basic rules. Syllable may contain only one vowel. If a syllable contains more than one sound, it begins with a consonant. In the middle of the word, a syllable usually ends on a vowel, and consonants after these vowels go to the next syllable. Let's learn these rules in details and with examples. The first rule says that syllable may contain only one vowel. It means that there are as many syllables in a word as vowels. Here are examples of words that contain only one syllable. Я, ты. Мы, вы, кто, что, где. These words consist of one syllable because they have only one vowel. Here are some multisyllable words. Э, тот, мно, го, дру, гой, де, во, чка. These words consist of several syllables because they have several vowels. So, let me repeat again. There are as many syllables in a word as vowels. Ok, the second rule says, if a syllable contains more than one sound, it begins with a consonant. Here are examples uh, to this rule. Let's take the word ONI. According to the first rule, uh, they, uh, there are two syllables in this word because there are two vowels. The first syllable is O and the second is NI. Uh, the second syllable has two sounds, that's why it begins with a consonant. N. Because according to the uh, second rule, for all syllables that contain more than one sound, they start with a consonant. More examples. Не, сколь, ко, ши, ро, ки. Each of these syllables contains more than one sound and begins with a consonant according to our second rule. In simple words, syllables uh, that are longer than one sound always start with a consonant. The third rule says that in the middle of the word, syllable usually ends on a vowel and consonants after these vowels go to the next syllable. The examples for these rules are у, хо, о, тец, че, ло, век. In summary, these rules, uh, this rule says that all syllables except the last one usually end on a vowel, and all syllables except the first one usually begin with a consonant. Let's take previous examples. Ucho, 
Отец человек. Let's take the first part of the rule. All syllables except the last one uh, usually end on a vowel. Let's look. Yes, you see, see that? They end on a vowel. Uh, the second part and all syllables except the first one usually begin with a consonant. Oh my God, look, they start with a consonant. You see that? It's amazing. The rule works. Okay, these were basic rules uh, that cover most of uh, situations. And these rules would be enough for most of you. But around you there are people that are learning Russian deep. Uh, to satisfy them, let's go deep too. In addition, these rules have a couple of specifications. They concern the middle of the word where uh, there can be a problem with applying these three rules. The problem is that in the middle of the word there can be several consonants going one after another. Um, here are the rules how to deal with such situations. Uh, two same consonants always go to next syllable. A group of two and more consonants always go to the next syllable, like in the previous rule, except not paired consonant sounds. R, R, L, L, M, M, N, N, Y. Let's look at these specifications in details. The first specification says two same consonants go to the next syllable. Let's look at the word длинный. N, N is a pair of same consonants N. And that's why it goes to the next syllable. длинный. It's simple. Uh, the second uh, specification says uh, two or more, co more consonants always go to the next syllable except not paired consonant sounds. And here is the list of these uh, not paired consonant sounds. So if we see a group of consonants, usually a pair, and we see one of the non-paired consonant sounds, this not pair consonant sound uh, sound stairs, stays in the previous syllable. Here are examples: ma, len, ki. The non-paired sound is n. That's why it stays in the previous syllable and the uh, ka goes to the next. Mal chik. Uh, the non-paired sound is l. That's why it stays in the previous syllable and the uh, ch goes to the next one. Okay, that's it for the explanation. Uh, the first three rules were for everyone. The specification were for more, uh, more for uh, specialists. If you want on any reason to learn the, um, to properly divide the words into syllables, develop a powerful um, syllable skill, well, the link in, uh, to the training and explanation material is in the uh, description. Uh, thank you for watching and bye.